Okay, first I've started my long screws through those holes there. You can run a bit of glue along there if you like, um, not necessary, it's pretty strong. Get the corresponding A and A on there. Run the screws up. And the other side. Before you put this side on, there's a short piece of 10mm dowel that's marked with an eye there and an eye in there. Drop some glue in there, that hole. Push that in there, drop some glue in there, push that on there like that, do the remaining screws up. Put that to one side, pick up the big flat piece, get your um, middle bolt, push it in there and you'll find that it's press fit. Just knock it in until it stops. The half the header will be about halfway up. It just locks it in position. Then get your wheels, the two long pieces of 10mm ten, ten down. Drop a wee piece of glue in there and there. Push them on. Corresponding glue in there and there. Push them on. Lay them across those holes. Put your saddle clamp on. Once you've got your wheels on, all your screws in. I haven't put the last two in, but you get the idea there. Turn it upside down. Your piece of cardboard sits over there, just to ease the the movement of on the top, drop that over there, get your nylock nut, drop that over there, now just screw it down until the top of the nut is flush with the bolt coming through. There's just about that much movement's good enough because after a while it'll compress the cardboard um, and if it comes, if it gets a bit sloppy, a bit loose, all you have to do is just take another wee piece in there. Alright, on to the side pieces. You'll see I've already glued them in there just for ease of alignment. Drop a bit of glue in each of them. Put them together, make sure you've got the half moons down. Make sure they're all lined up. Once they're all in, you can wait for that to dry if you want, but I just go on and put them together anyway. Get your piece of 18mm dowel without the hole in it, the top one's got a hole in it. So just get that, push that through there. Get your two plain pieces, end pieces glue in there, glue in there, push them on. Make sure it's quite even. The It doesn't matter if the glue oozes out and they stick to the base because the boom will pivot on the, the dowel anyway so you don't have to worry too much about that. In the top piece, get the piece of dowel there, push it through. This is for a right-handed person um, if it's a left-handed person, you just do this in reverse. But uh, for the right-handed person, you pick up your piece of rat, your dog star there, glue in there, push it on there. It's important that you, the glue, you don't put too much glue in, it eases out and, and sticks to the base because it'll defeat the exercise. Glue in there, push that on there. To line them up, just push them 
like that. Obviously that will be stuck in there, so after the glue, after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just make sure that that still turns and breaks the glue away if you've had some run out. You then pick up the, the little started, the little ratchet dog, pull the tape off. You'll notice that the, the dog is longer in, in one piece than the other. The short piece goes towards the ratchet. Screw that in. If you get it around the wrong way it won't work anyway because it'll be too long to engage the teeth. Don't screw this all the way home because it's important that that has some movement like that. Because as you can see, as it's turned, that's how the ratchet works. The little stop here and string on there, down through the last two dowels, the hook. Off, and she's all ready to go. Of course, you can stop at any time because the ratchet dog will stop it from turning there. Obviously, I haven't glued all this together so. And you want to release it, just let the dog go there, and it just releases itself down. And there it is, the finished crane. The dowel. If you find after some use, you're not the glue isn't isn't sufficient to hold the hand wheel or the ratchet on the end there. Just drill a six mil hole straight up there, about that long, and use one of the screws like the ones in the um, in the side here, and just run your screw straight in and do it up nice and tight. That'll stop it from slipping. The glue, I have had one or two that the hand wheels after a lot of use, um, like the one I've got on my doctor's. Uh, studio. It's been in there about four or five years and about every second year I have to glue the hand wheel on so uh, that's that's all it's needed, just drill them up the end and um, uh, that'll keep them in place. Hope you enjoy.